Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and its gravity is just 38% that of Earth's. This means you could jump nearly four feet high, but that benefit is quickly overshadowed by the extreme environment. On the sunlit side, temperatures reach up to 800 degrees. At night, they drop to minus 280 degrees. The surface receives nearly seven times more solar energy than Earth, making it highly dangerous. Landing is difficult due to the lack of atmospheric drag, increasing the risk of a crash. One full day on Mercury takes 176 Earth days, so staying on either the hot or cold side for long would be fatal. Venus. Venus is similar to Earth in size and gravity, so you'd only jump about 1.7 feet. However, that's where the similarities end. As you descend through its thick yellow clouds made of sulfuric acid, you'd be exposed to extremely corrosive conditions. The atmosphere is dense, mostly carbon dioxide, and creates a powerful greenhouse effect, pushing surface temperatures to 860 degrees. Only 10% of sunlight reaches the ground, making it permanently dim and hot. Gravity may feel familiar, but motion would be sluggish due to the incredibly dense air, almost like moving through a liquid. Earth. Earth has the right combination of gravity, atmosphere, temperature, and magnetic shielding to support life. You can jump about 1.5 feet here. The nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere protects against radiation and regulates temperature. With an average surface temperature of 60 degrees and an active magnetic field, Earth supports a wide range of ecosystems. Its surface holds liquid water, oceans, rivers, lakes, which is vital for all known life. Moon. Earth's moon, Luna, has one-sixth of Earth's gravity, meaning you could jump nearly nine feet high in the air and won't touch the ground again for several seconds. Without an atmosphere, there's no weather or protection from space radiation. The surface is covered in fine, abrasive dust that clings to equipment and poses health hazards when inhaled. The moon is drifting 15 inches away from Earth each year. Mars. Mars is often referred to as the red planet and has about 38% of Earth's gravity. This means a vertical jump would take you approximately four feet into the air if there was any air to speak of. While Mars does have an atmosphere, it's much thinner than on Earth. If you stay here until evening, you'll be able to admire at a beautiful blue sunset. Despite its barren landscape, the planet offers impressive views. One of the most prominent features on the surface is Olympus Mons, the tallest known mountain in the solar system. This massive volcano stands nearly three times the height of Mount Everest, Phobos. Phobos is one of Mars's moons and one of the smallest moons in the solar system. It orbits extremely close to Mars, almost a hundred times closer than our moon is to Earth. Its gravity is so weak, a strong jump could send you drifting off into space. Phobos isn't expected to last forever. Eventually, it'll get pulled too close to Mars, shatter, and may form a ring around the planet. Scientists think it's not a native moon, but a captured asteroid, which explains its irregular shape and heavily cratered surface. Ceres. Ceres might look like just another space rock drifting between Mars and Jupiter, but it's hiding some serious secrets. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt, so big, in fact, that it got upgraded to a dwarf planet. If you tried jumping here, you'd float up more than 50 feet before gently sinking back down, like you were on a slow-motion trampoline. But don't let the calm fool you. The surface is icy and lifeless, and beneath it, scientists believe there might be a hidden ocean, cold, briny, and sealed off from space for billions of years. At the heart of Ceres lies the Ocator Crater, home to strange, bright white patches. These glowing spots? They're made of salt, left behind by water that may have once seeped up from below. It's as if the dwarf planet is quietly whispering that something stirred beneath the surface not too long ago. Out here, there's no air to breathe, no protection from radiation, and certainly no sunsets. Just silence, and the mystery of what might be lurking under that frozen crust. Jupiter. Jupiter is less of a planet and more of a cosmic heavyweight. With no solid surface and gravity 2.5 times stronger than Earth's, jumping is off the table. Even if you tried, you'd barely leave the ground, dive into the atmosphere, and you'd pass through ammonia clouds, violent wind layers, and eventually reach metallic hydrogen, an exotic fluid under immense pressure. The Great Red Spot, a storm big enough to swallow Earth, has been raging for centuries. Despite receiving less sunlight than Earth, Jupiter glows faintly from within, thanks to the heat of its own gravitational compression. Ganymede. Ganymede is a standout. Bigger than Mercury, this moon of Jupiter is the largest in the solar system and has its own magnetic field, a rare trait for a moon. You'd be able to easily jump over 10 feet thanks to the weak gravity. Beneath its thick, icy crust may lie a salty ocean, and the terrain is marked by grooves and ridges from ancient tectonic shifts. Ganymede is exposed to Jupiter's intense radiation, making it one of the more dangerous moons to visit without heavy protection. Saturn. 
Saturn is the solar system's second gas giant and maybe its most visually stunning. It spins so rapidly that it's flattened at the poles and surrounded by a vast system of icy rings. Its upper atmosphere has gravity close to Earth's, so a jump here would feel familiar. If there were a solid surface to jump from, you'd be able to hop as high as 1.4 feet in the air. Saturn is most famous for its rings, which are particles of dust and ice left from impacts with different space objects. It spins so rapidly around its axis that it has stretched itself into a nearly oval shape. Titan. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, looks like a frozen Earth with a heavy orange haze. The air is thick, mostly nitrogen, and the gravity is low, letting you jump nearly 11 feet. Methane lakes and icy plains stretch across its surface. What's beneath is still a mystery, but some believe a liquid water ocean hides under the crust. Titan's most bizarre feature might be its cryovolcanoes, mountains that erupt with icy slush instead of lava. It's one of the few places in the solar system where a descent with a parachute is actually feasible. The Huygens probe successfully landed on Titan in 2005, providing the first images from its surface. Uranus. Uranus spins on its side like a rolling barrel. It's made mostly of ice and gases, and although its gravity isn't far from Earth's, you'd still jump a bit higher here, about 1.7 feet. The atmosphere is a pale blue due to methane, and the planet's seasons are extreme, lasting over 20 Earth years at a time. Temperatures plunge below minus 370 degrees, making it the coldest planet in the solar system. Deep inside, high pressure may squeeze carbon into diamonds that rain through the interior. Uranus remains one of the least explored planets, with only Voyager 2 ever visiting it. Neptune Neptune is slightly smaller than Uranus, but more massive, with even stronger weather. Winds reach over 1,200 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound. Its gravity is slightly higher than Uranus's, allowing for 1.3-foot jumps. Like Uranus, high pressures likely create diamond rain. Temperatures in the core reach up to 12,000 degrees and act as an internal heat source that radiates more energy than the planet gets from the sun. The Great Dark Spot is a massive storm system that forms and disappears over time. Triton. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, doesn't play by the rules. It orbits in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. Gravity is extremely low, enabling a comfortable 19-foot jump. Its frozen surface is dotted with nitrogen geysers that shoot plumes into the sky, and parts of its crust resemble the dimpled skin of a cantaloupe. Beneath it all might lie a hidden ocean, warmed by tidal forces from its unusual orbit and possibly providing conditions suitable for life. Pluto. Pluto is a lonely world at the edge of the solar system. Once the ninth planet, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet, although this has not diminished his fascination. You could jump over 25 feet here due to its low gravity. When it gets close to the sun, surface ice vaporizes into a temporary atmosphere. Then, as it drifts away again, that atmosphere collapses and freezes. Pluto's terrain is anything but dull. Glaciers, mountains, and possible ice volcanoes stretch across its face, all captured in stunning detail by the New Horizons mission. Eris. Eris is slightly larger than Pluto and more massive. Gravity allows for 18-foot jumps. Its orbit takes more than 550 Earth years to complete. Its discovery in 2005 prompted the planetary definition change that led to Pluto's demotion. Conditions are extremely cold and poorly understood, but it remains one of the most distant known objects in the solar system. Eris has a highly elliptical orbit and a surface likely covered in methane ice, reflecting nearly all sunlight it receives. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for similar ones and feel free to drop suggestions for the next video in the comments.